What is up guys? It's Kayla from Kayla the Video Maker and it is so stinking cold I have ostrich bumps. That's like negative 30 degrees. I really don't know what that means but everyone says goose bumps. What's so special about a goose? This video we are going to be talking about. What are we gonna talk about? I swear something's wrong with me. We're gonna be talking about Varchar. Make sure you watch the previous video which discusses the char data type because a lot of that is foundational to the varchar data type. Now the special thing about varchar data types is that it doesn't pad our data. That means if we make a varchar of 50 characters and we put in something like hello, in a char data type it would pad it with 45 spaces, but varchar is literally going to store only five. But there's the downside in that since all of the strings aren't the same length, MySQL is going to have to keep track of the length of each string. And that's going to make it mad, and because of that, it's going to punish you by making each string take up an extra byte or two. So this will be five characters plus one byte. Now in this situation, each character is probably one byte each, but do keep in mind different encodings. So I haven't talked a ton on encodings, but UTF-8 is a very common one that allows for multiple different languages. English is going to be one byte each, but once you get into like Asian characters or some other languages, you are going to have up to three bytes each in MySQL. So this five character string could be up to potentially 16 bytes. It'd be 15 plus one. Now we'll talk a little bit more about this one in just a little bit because I said one or two, but we'll worry about that in just a moment. Now the maximum size for a varchar column is 65,535 bytes. Now this is a per value measurement. So if you have a table, each row can have up to 65535 bytes. You also once again have to consider the encoding. For example, some characters can take up to three bytes. That means you automatically need to divide this by three. And each row stores up to two bytes to keep track of how long that string is. So you need to subtract two from that. Additionally, MySQL has what's known as a row limit. The row limit is also 65535 bytes. That means if we try to make the max varchar, the row limit is going to be hit and we're not going to be able to create any other columns that store any data. Now when you're using a character set such as UTF-8, each character can take up to three bytes and MySQL takes that into consideration because it needs to know how much space to allocate for this column. So when you create a varchar and pass in something like 65,000, but you're using the UTF-8 encoding, that's not going to work because it's going to do the math and say 65,000 times three equals a ton. <laughs> and it's going to pass that row limit. This is a little bit different than how char works because if we say char 255, which is the max for char, you can store 255 characters regardless of whatever the size is. For varchar, since we have this row limit, we can't go all the way up to the max. That means you're limited to a little bit less than a third of this. So to be on the safe side, I would never go past like 20,000. <laughs> and that being said, you should never go over what you need. What I mean by that is if every row is only going to have 2,000 characters, there's no need to create a column that can store up to 20,000. Now I mentioned earlier that MySQL has to keep track of the length of the string and I said it takes one or two bytes. Well if the number of characters is 255 or less, it only takes one byte. If there's any more than that, it'll take two bytes. So if we talk a little bit more about storage, if you have an 8-bit number, which I know we haven't discussed binary a whole lot, but an 8-bit number allows for eight zeros or ones. And we have the maximum for that, it would look like this. And if you take this binary number, that represents 255. We can't represent any more than 255 with this number. And if we need to go above 255, we actually add a byte. So that's an overview of varchar. Hopefully that was helpful. In the next video, we are going to be talking about another character type that you should know about. So be sure to check out that video. I will see you then. And if you've enjoyed this, be sure to click like and subscribe.